Mia had a ARPKD, uh, a kidney disease, um, and she was transplanted almost two years ago now. Um, we're just here waiting in, in London now to to be able to go back to Gibraltar, hopefully, but obviously now everything's going to um, be delayed because of this virus. From today, we've been uh, isolated for two weeks. Uh, luckily, Danielle, Mia's mum, um, managed to sort out two months worth of, of medicines and enough food to to last us for a couple of more weeks. So, yeah, we're prepared for the isolated, for being isolated. Well, because of the transplant, Mia is um, immune suppressed. So this really puts her in a very dang dangerous position because her body would not, not be able to cope with this um, with this virus if she did if she were to get it. So we're staying away as as much as possible from contact from anyone or or as you know in that total isolation. We've already been here two weeks, as I said before, and just fearing going to the hospital for a checkup in a couple of weeks. To be honest. Um, yeah, it really keeps us um, busy during the day between the medicines and preparing a lunch, one thing and the other, entertaining her. Um, so yeah, that keeps us quite busy. And apart from that, I'm also doing um, this page Facebook uh, on Facebook, Friday Night Live, where musicians are playing live and we're putting it directly at pe to people's homes. So yeah, that's keeping quite entertaining. Too. We've had uh, lots of um, messages from friends and on Facebook, um, yeah, lots of people checking up on us and we've also had Minister Sacramento personally message me and check up on us, which was quite reassuring to be honest. So yeah, thank you all for, for your messages.